Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee. And after I noticed that there was a second rail track way over here coming out of that thing, I thought maybe there's something out this way. And it turned out that there was. This, uh, when you combine that with the fact that I found that I had a second record missing from the record box, Duke Monument, excellent word syllable order already. I realized that there must be an additional area that I hadn't seen yet. I came out here to check it out. I built myself a rail line and moved my spawn in advance, just in case that this uh, doesn't go so well right up front. But it looks like I'm on some sort of tree. Christmas tree, I believe. There's presents underneath. That's what tells me it's a Christmas tree rather than like an Earth Day tree. Earth Day trees generally a lot less presents. I have no idea what exactly is inside of it or where the juke, or not jukebox, the birdcage is. So after my horrible, horrible multi-video attempt to conquer the last one of these, I'm really thinking that the quick road might be the best road here. So what I plan to do is essentially look for the birdcage around the front because there seems to be something crazy made out of melons up there. And I want to go have a little bit of an exploratory check on all that, but otherwise it's just like, well, let's burn this thing down right away, rather than, you know, making several videos where we don't burn it down. Let's see, what do we got out here? That's kind of weird. What is that? Some sort of sponge mushroom thing. No real signs of spawners or anything up here either. Maybe this is another thing like the snowman, where it's just like a sculpture. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Some sort of bizarre pod thing. But, anyway, clearly not the jukebox birdcage magical iron thing that I'm looking for. Whoa, do not want to fall down there. Probably caused by leaf decay, as it is. So... I'm thinking, I didn't really see anything way up at the top that looked like the birdcage. However, the higher up you are when you deploy the lava, the more hilarious the results. So, let's quickly just build ourselves a platform up, and we will begin deploying our payload. Okay, well, I'm closer to that. What is that? Let's see if we can get another angle on this. Some sort of sphere or something. Well, looks like it's just made out of wool. Maybe we can go bash it up and find something cool inside. Or maybe not. Maybe we will find more wool inside. Excellent. Just as I might have hoped. Wait, so here's another one. <gasps> hey, that's a diamond block. I take back everything I said about this being not very good so far. So, are there two diamond blocks here? Huh. Well, let's go have those now. Because that would go nicely on my victory monument. Okay, that was trapped. Why can I not get further away? Okay. So, good to know. There's probably a bud switch on the... Uh, if this thing over here is similarly arrayed, we should be knowledgeable of that. Okay, so let's see how... How is this wired? Let's build ourselves a little platform to escape back onto out of this incredibly excellent material. Okay, so it looks like when the torch goes, that repeater there is what carries. So if we kill this torch, there we go. We have diffused this and recovered some TNT as well. So I call that coming out ahead. Excellent. So on that other one, we recovered a little bit of excellent diamonds. On this one, we recovered excellent diamonds plus excellent TNT. Okay. Next problem. Let's go ahead and get this lava situation all sorted out. I should probably find my way back to where I was. Hmm, so we've got some sort of, I don't know, thing... There, that's definitely not the bird cage. Surprisingly few creatures about, but I guess there's no 
it's just not dark enough for them to spawn, or they're probably all in some crazy dungeon down below. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and do this right this time. We are going to start at the furthest area away from where our little thing is all set up. So we're going to come out to here. And then we are just going to drop this down here, like so. Actually, let's drop it right there. Okay. And we're going to drop this right here. Let's see. Whoa, that was almost a foolish way to do this. Okay, so we're gonna... Dang it, that one just evaporated on me. That was not at all what I wanted. So we're gonna put that one there. And now we are just gonna make our way back down as quickly as we can. And clear as much of this as we can. Oh, I forgot to put that last one down. Is the lava coming for me yet? I think I got a moment. And we'll just put that right there. And that's coming right down on my head, isn't it? That is coming down on my head. I'd better flee. Better flee. That was a poor place to put that lava. I'm realizing... Okay. Okay. Poor placement of lava combined with poor falling through floors that I created equals bad plan. Bad plan. Recognized. Okay, next part. Let's, um... Let's get out of here. Let's bypass the most problematic part of this and not go back up right where the lava was, but instead let's dig up right here, which I think might be less horrifyingly, horrifyingly deadly to us. I kind of wish now that the snowman had been made of wood that I might find such an equally acceptable resolution to his problem of not being all consumed in fire. I'm really hoping that the birdcage is not down there, because that's going to be an issue, I think, trying to... Oh, if the birdcage is down there. Yeah, it's going to be hard to figure out where... I should have probably investigated that a bit more thoroughly now that I'm thinking on it. If it's inside one of them prisons. Well, it'll burn away the outer shell, I guess, and then I'll be like, Oh, what's all this bedrock? Probably the home of the birdcage. Whoa, 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 what is that? Something is making me go all super lag. Presumably there was TNT somewhere inside of that down there. Okay, it looks like everything up here is pretty much getting well consumed. Got some last bits of tree burning at the top there, but no real sign of anything that might be the birdcage. However, everything inside of here is so abysmally, abysmally covered with this lava. It's hard to say. Oh, wait, was that all cheaty snow there? Looks like the lava has actually demolished what would have been snow that was not actually standable on a top of. So I figure at this point my best course of action is to recover the lava I have placed and then explore what's left in search of a birdcage. This will teach 3-2 to have huge statues of Christmas trees. Like, after digging into that snowman for as long as I did, he should know that I can't be expected to muck about with some horrible Christmas tree. That isn't gonna happen. Let's see, can I reach that? Boom, I can indeed. So that's one of them there. And eventually this lava will all catch up with the fact that it has been destroyed. So, second bucket of lava... Not doing too bad, are we? Wow, that does not want to stop being on fire. Is this a glitch? These blocks already burn out, and they're just so far behind because of the lag? That's kind of a new one. Burning logs that don't stop burning. Okay, good to know. Always new things happen in Minecraft. Okay, last block of lava source material, indeed. Excellent. So now all we have to do is wait for this to kind of restore itself to its natural state of not being all crazy lava filled and then explore the wreckage you know like future explorers coming back to look at pirate ships that they burned first because that's what good explorers do they leave no stone unburned 
Okay, we are back, and I figure the best plan at this point is probably just to get a good little stream of water going down here and see what we can find. I tried removing the lava, but for some reason the game won't update those blocks to remove it. So I can no longer see if there was anything underneath or inside of it. Which is quite the obstacle for those of you at home playing the home game. Okay, so apparently this water here just seems to go down forever. There's a million monsters down here. Bunch of TNT blew up. And am I close enough to reach that snow there? No, of course I'm not. So, let's see what's left. We got a little bit left of that package there. It's not the most reliable way to travel, I'll tell you that. Hmm, well it's hard to say what's left. Well, actually it's easy to say what's left, very little. It's hard to say what to do with it. I kinda thought, okay, I'll just set everything on lava, and then I will have revealed the secrets of this area. But in fact, I might have just shrouded the secrets of this area in lava which is the most inconvenient thing to shroud secrets in when you are trying to glean their deeper meaning yourself. Now, one possibility here is can I just pour lava onto that? No. I need to get more blocks to dig out, or to go out that far. But let's try that. Let's try just dumping water on the lava. This is the, the most idiotic situation I have gotten myself into yet. And I've gotten myself into a lot of really idiotic situations here. Like, theoretically, with the source blocks removed, these should just go away. All this lava should be gone. But apparently it's spread over such a large area or whatnot that it's just not refreshing for some reason that I cannot claim to be privy to. You know, I'm not one of them magic knowers. Okay. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. <laughs> Dang it, lava, why won't you decay? Decay, lava, decay. <laughs> Meh. I screwed this up badly. I've spent hours, essentially, trying to figure out a way into this. I cannot get the lava to properly despawn, even though I've removed all the source blocks. And so I've kind of built my... I've been dumping water on it, and I got some pistons here. And I built a little kind of 4 by one by 12 push into here. I'm hoping... What I noticed, though, sorry, I'm not feeling eloquent. This has been a ludicrous prospect and process. I noticed last time I fell to my death that I could see something in the middle of this below, like, the lava couldn't fall perfectly around the middle. Like, there was something that was getting caught. So, let's see if we can do anything about that. So this is like super obnoxious Minecraft science type stuff where it's like, oh no, nothing works properly. What do you do when nothing works properly? Well, you try other things. What do you do when that's abysmal? You slowly learn to despise life as we know it. You begin to question why you didn't volunteer for that Mars expedition. You question further why everyone else's memory of that expedition was wiped. You know... 83, you guys were there, but you don't remember it. Uh, wow, that got a lot crazier than usual. <laughs> this has been really kind of super obnoxious more than anything because this is a problem of my own device. This is not a problem 3-2 gave me. I'm sitting here with a stack of work I got to do on my secret project that, as you guys know, March 27th, and instead... I am slowly burrowing through this, which is a ludicrous waste of time. So, yeah. This is... Okay, guys. So, lava only after you've explored the tree. That's the lesson that we're learning today. Like, I haven't even gotten to the part of this that 3-2 was trying to make hard yet. 
Like, I've just made it hard entirely on my own. It is... Uh, I I really think that the moral of all of these maps is that I'm my own worst enemy. Which makes sense, because I'm everyone else's worst enemy, too. It's just, you know, my inherent potential really resides in, you know, that sort of thing. So, anyway, though. Yeah, so I'm my own worst enemy. I'm making things worse for me all the time. And... Wah! Pick is broken. Okay. Not helpful. There's a trick Cilantro Gamer taught me. I should probably go put my piston back somewhere over here where it's safe. From, you know, me self-destructing it in the freaking lava. Go ahead and set that there and that... Whoa, that's actually a stupid place. That's just like a lava piston dying machine. I was going to say, before I kill myself stupidly in this, let me try to kill myself intelligently in this. Cilantro Gamer had a trick that he would do, where if I put this torch here, I think that I can apply uh -oh, a block to the side of the torch if I can get further... Yeah, there we go. So now, I can just apply bricks along here as well, which is not necessarily the best thing ever, but compared to the... Oh, goodness, that scared me when it shifted there. Compared to the absolute misery that has been the last few hours, that's pretty darn good. So we are now widening our tunnel here. And I'm probably just going to end up killing myself to uh, get back up because I haven't really built a proper way out of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Is that going to... What did that do? Okay. Hopefully nothing. It's an inconvenience, but it's not a death convenience. Things I have left on me. Absolutely nothing of value. So let's go ahead and plant this torch, I guess. And then give up on ourselves. Yay, wasted bucket. Here, I'm going to jump out real quick, though, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Like, see that right there? That right there, that was it. So this is where we were, and I have somehow managed to abysmally screw this up. So let's see what we can do to fix that in the short term. Dang it, stupid lava never going away, ever. I really wish I understood what caused this like, lava disturbance. Oh no, that wasn't covered there. Anyway, either way, I picked up some lava potions in hopes of being able to circumvent some of this abysmal mess that you now see. This thing only lasts eight minutes, so we should probably run for it. This right here is pretty much a proof of concept run to try to figure out where exactly the actual building part of this is oh goodness i am everything is so dark in here never mind so this might have been a losing proposition entirely okay it's getting redder i don't know if that's good or not and i can't see anything so that probably just means i'm gaining elevation but that doesn't give me anything to work with. Wow, and this thing is super high, too. Wait, what's this here? Okay, now it's glitching or something. Okay, some sort of visual glitch. That's fine. Visual glitch, I can accept. What I need to know is that this right here is located past my bridge and to the right. What a weird visual glitch. Why am... This is bizarre. Okay, so now I'm back in the water here, or lava here. That's fine. So if I can just figure out a way to go in... This looks like the entrance because it's narrower. Although that might just mean that it is the home of the birdcage. Oh goodness, it is about to be so dark that there is no night that is of equal bleakness, blackness, or otherwise light lackness. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is this is a bad plan. We are in bad plan country now, folks. I'm continuously on fire. I can't see anything. 
continuously on fire, can't see anything. This is, I feel like the most depressed scuba diver. Whoa. Okay, wait, so hold on. Hold on. So here's bedrock. So we are now outside of this structure. With how, how high is it? I'm afraid of falling out the bottom of the lava here into the void. Which, after the ludicrous journey that it required me to get this point... Okay, actually, let's start placing some blocks here. And so then underneath this block, I'm going to plant this lava, or this torch, which is not the most exciting thing in the world. Okay, look at this. This is a joy to behold. So now I know how I have, how I will isolate the entrance to this bedrock thing. I'm a hoping this bedrock thing is actually where I'm supposed to be. If it is not, then I am indeed in trouble. Okay, wow. So that's... I've only got eight minutes of fireproofness. Okay, wait. So this is, this is obsidian instead of bedrock. So that's a good sign. Okay, wait. Visual glitch again. Any sign of an entrance? Do I have to go get a diamond pick or something and come back? Oh, this is this is abysmal. Of or pertaining to the abysm. Okay, so if I stand precisely here, I can begin mining this, and in 4 minutes and 15 seconds, I can find out whether or not there's anything on the other side. Fortunately, I have a whole bunch of lava resistance potions back in a chest by my bed, so even if I die here, it's not the end of the world. Although it is a waste of 4 minutes and 15 seconds. You know what you could do in 4 minutes and 15 seconds? I don't, because my entire life has become trying to break this obsidian. I am a cask of a shell of a husk. Which, you know, usually they reserve casks for the especially good wine, but shell of husk wine has been a little bit more popular these days. Ever since Maynard Keenan made that uh, film, what was it? Cask Blood into Wine or something. Big deal. Oh my goodness, obsidian break. Now that I know this is here, I can come back with a diamond picket. No! Well, I can come back with a diamond pick at least. I'm probably going to chug a potion of regeneration as well once we actually break into wherever we're getting. Oh my goodness, this is such a relief to be out of there. Out of that stupid lava. Now, of course, I'm going to have to find my way home again past all this. I really hope that the chest wasn't on top of this somehow. I should look into that if I... Being like a lava nut... Well, wonderful. Spawners. Oh, hey, what's this? A pressure plate. And strawed. So, I don't know what the joke behind the pressure plate is, but we came all this way, so let's go find out. And let's chug a potion of regeneration first, just in case we're about to walk into some sort of stupid trap. A trap designed specifically for stupid people. Like me. I'd like to point out that this dungeon wouldn't normally be covered in lava, but you already knew that. Oh, wow, more sp That's gonna be hitting that. Huh. Well, probably not much benefit to hanging out here. Is that a baby silverfish? Okay, yeah, we are... Baby silverfish, you have convinced me that I need to leave. This has been one of the most ludicrous parts of the map. You know why? Because I had to use pistons to solve a problem that I created myself. Unlike the rest of the map, where I was just trying to solve problems that 3-2 gave me, this part of the map, no, nope, entirely my fault. Goodbye, abysmal. Oh, yeah, that's going to be all shaky while I go away. But, yeah, that, that area, dead to me. Stupid. I don't need, I, I, like I said, that was some sort of tree at one point. Now, now it is just my perpetual lava grave. Oh, wait, that's right, I have conquered it. Also, I built this cool rail line using pretty much all of the materials that were beneath back there. So getting back to that zombie place, luckily I already built that bridge. But anyway, see y'all at the uh, JBM, also known as the Jukebox Monument. Let's strat it up, folks. I have decided to make like the ancients and ascend. I have returned to the Jukebox Monument 
And here I will place the second to last record, Strahd or Strayed, for those of you who prefer it. And that was in the fiasco of my own division. Done. Light it up. So, of course, that still leaves Ward, which I'm guessing is in that zombie area. But we do have one more block to place on the monument today. The illustrious diamond block, also known as the effervescent diamond cube. So, we are going to go ahead and put a sign on that. And we found that where again? Oh, yeah. In the TNT wool redstone part thing. Done. Light it up. So look at this. All four of our bonus blocks have now been placed on the JVM and all but one of our records. So hopefully guys, the next video will be my last of this portion of Afternoon Adventures. And then launching on March 27th will be my new top secret project for season four. A lot of you guys have been posting theories in the comments and let me tell you, essentially, if you have heard of this map, you know, I've heard people say, oh, it's this map or this map. No, you, this is something completely different, something completely new. If you are guessing something that has a name, you are guessing wrong. And I'm incredibly excited. March 27th, it's going to be awesome. So keep an eye out for season four. And hopefully sometime in the next few days, I'll have the finale to Afternoon Adventures Vinyl Fantasy posted. So anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.